Hello folks. Do you fancy spending £260 on a plastic Speedmaster? With dye in the case that comes off on your wrist. Or do you fancy spending much more on the very same Speedmaster on the grey market? Well, I call it the grey market by some flipper who's managed to get a hold of one and wanted to sell it at enormous markup. Don't think so. So there are various Speedmaster homages out there available on AliExpress and other places which would do the trick. Now I had a look at this one. This one is the Pagani Design Speedmaster homage. Now on its version 3. But one of the things that I noted is that the photographs on the advertisements seem to be digital renders of an actual Speedmaster with Pagani's logos put on it. The actual watch looks like this. Now that is a flat, glossy dial, not the one in the photographs. So I looked a little bit further, and for a lot less money, I got a Speedmaster homage, which might not be from Omega, but at least it starts with an O. I got an Umashi Speedmaster. Now this watch cost, I think, £56, and it was £68 by the time AliExpress adds on its uh, customs fees, etc. And for that, I get a stainless steel Speedmaster homage, which has a very nice dial. See this one here? Which is actually got a recessed minute track, just like a real Speedmaster. I think the dial on this beats anything on the Pagani Design ones, any of the colourways on the Pagani Design. So that's good. But the watch did have a couple of flaws. Let's have a look at the next bit of the video. Here we can see the Umashi Allegedly Automatic Professional, which is a very accurate Speedmaster clone. In my opinion, it looks a lot more like a Speedmaster than the Pagani effort. Because if you look here, you can see that the minute track is recessed and there are different textures on the dial, much more like an actual Speedmaster. The bezel insert here is ceramic and it's all stainless steel. I absolutely guarantee this is an alloy. So anyway, when I buy these watches, I buy them primarily for myself. So I don't really buy them for channel content, although that's a happy bonus. But channel content's always better if I can show you some defects in the watch. And this one didn't disappoint. I want you to have a look at the domed mineral crystal. Nicely domed, just like a real speedy. And uh, that will lead me on to the first problem with it. I went to collect this watch from the postman, because the post office, because I'd missed the postman. So I collect it in the evening. I size it to my wrist. I wear it in the evening. And in the morning, I head out for a walk with the dog, and this happens. Yep, despite the fact I didn't bathe, shower, or wash the dishes even with this allegedly 50 meters water resistant watch, the watch unfortunately has moisture inside the case. So that's a Try to contact the seller via AliExpress. Seller doesn't answer within 24 hours. So I raised a dispute and I happily received a 50% discount. So my nearly £70 turned into something in the mid-30s, which is an absolute bargain. And the moisture problem was addressed by opening the back of the watch and leaving it in a Tupperware container on a bed of rice on a warm windowsill for a day. 
Uh, there weren't any visible water inside the case. I speculate that this watch may have been assembled in a factory in very humid conditions. But I also noted that when I removed the case back, it was barely on finger tight. So I think we're talking about sloppy assembly here. And talking about sloppy assembly, we come on to the next flaw with the watch. The watch has extremely wide lug to lug because of these male bracelet ends. Now they are solid ends, solid end lengths, which is good, but they protrude considerably. Meaning that this watch with this bracelet maybe isn't for somebody with a, a wrist size that's significantly smaller than my own. However, where the hinge with the rest of the bracelet, which is really good by the way, and it's quite it's a split pin adjustment, and it's actually very easy to change the links. I had to remove my usual three links in order to fit it to me. They must come in a sort of standard size in China. And it always seems to be three links that I have to remove. You can see here, it rotates quite nicely. But to make it do so, someone has filed that corner. Now that's not been done with a machine. That's been done by hand by someone in the factory. On the other side, it hasn't been done quite so well and it catches somewhat. You see that there? Now, I like the bracelet this comes on, but these end links are a definite design flaw and the quality of the manufacture, well, the quality of the assembly anyway, is obviously clearly lacking. So what you get is, you get a wonderful design stolen from a major manufacturer, but very well executed. The materials are good, uh, the execution isn't so great. I think this is quite common with Chinese homage watches, but I, you see, have suffered two fairly major flaws which could have been addressed by better quality control at the factory or at least at the dispatch point when they're actually doing whatever checks they do to send these out. So the watch itself, it has a Myota, not a VK63 like the Pagani design ones do, but it has a Myota chronograph movement which works very well. Uh, I have no complaints about this. Setting the stopwatch off needs a firm push, but you see that it's the main second hand that indicates the chronograph function, and that means that it can also be used as a working tachymeter. hits most of the indices. I don't really have any complaints there. Then we stop and we fly back. And there we go. That's really all I can say about that. Running seconds are shown on the face at the six o'clock, the subdial at six o'clock. And we have that strange 4.30 date window that we see on so many watches nowadays. As I mentioned, the case is steel. The crown screws in and the case back screws on. Now, I have good reason to believe that the 50 meters water resistant advertised is not true, but I wouldn't swear to that because, as I said, the Case back was barely on finger tight when I was when I was sorting out the issue with the with the condensation inside the watch. I might also add that inside the watch there was no visible water damage or any visible water. I think it was just a case of very moist air trapped inside that case. The bracelet 
has a perfectly satisfactory locking mechanism, nice and firm and secure, with the double button to undo it, and it has a diver's extension, but what the hell you'd be using a diver's extension on a chronograph, I have no idea, but anyway it has one, and it seems to work okay. Okay, time for some weights and measures. Okay, diagonally across the case, 41.6 millimeters. Thickness, 15.5 millimetres, that will depend on where you catch it on that domed crystal. The lug to lug is 48.8, 48.8, but because of the protruding male end links, the actual effective lug to lug is 56.3. That might be a consideration for some of you. It's all right for me on my seven and a little bit inch wrist. The lug width, 19.9. So you're talking about a 20 millimeter lug, which is really good if you decide to change off this bracelet for a strap. Because Speedmasters and Speedmaster homages look great on a variety of straps, NATOs, all sorts. So that's worth thinking about. Now let's just get a little weigh in. With three links removed, 148 grams. Sorry, that's not coming around very well with the camera angle I've got here, but it's 148 grams with three links removed. Now, the indices look as if they're loomed, but they aren't loomed. The only bits of loom are on the hands, on the pip on the second hand, and on that 12 o'clock indus and the two little spots either side of it. Now, here's a picture of the loom, which is captured more due to the, the light gathering abilities of my camera on the phone rather than anything else. But it's actually fairly satisfactory and does last with your night adjusted eyes uh, longer than you might think if you have this on the bedside table or even wear it asleep you can have a look at it at the middle of the night and you can usually still tell what the time is but it's not a great loom effort as these things often are so there we are it might not be on Omega but Umashi does start with an O Thanks very much for watching. Until the next time, cheerio for now.